Right, I'm going Komodo now. You, <laughs> I'm looking tired. My eyes go wow, and I'm feeling tired. So, it's, um, if I make mistakes, I'm almost certain to shout out at the screen. Don't be shy. Just say, Sarah, you got it wrong. Right, the it is two quarters. Now, the first thing I'm going to do. Can you see this two quarters? Two quarters is a half, isn't it? So I'm going to change that into a half. Ooh, hang on. Shall we start again? So it's eight and two fifths. Take away five and a half because two quarters. Is it? Have a quick common sense look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and two fifths looks about that. If you're doing fifths, think of it as a man doing star jumps. So two fifths, oh, that's one fifth. That's two fifths. So eight and two fifths take away five and a half. One, two, three, four, five. Now this isn't quite a half, is it? So it's that much plus um, plus a dinky bit of that one. So we're looking for two and a big bit. That's our two and a big bit. In a multiple choice situation, that might just be enough. Let's do the big numbers um, first. Five whole pizzas take, sorry, eight, eight whole pizzas, take away five whole pizzas. Um, no, I'm not happy doing it like that. We're going to chop it all up, okay? Because this half is bigger than two fifths, here we are. Here's our. That's two fifths, and a half would be that much, wouldn't it? So we've got to um, cut into one of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all of these pizzas into fifths. Um, so eight, here we are, is our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I'm going to cut that one into five, that one into five, that one into five, that one into five. Get the picture? So that would be eight lots of five, which is 40. And remember, we've got these two fifths as well. So that's uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, plus these two fifths is 42 fifths. Take away. And now I'm going to chop all of these ones into halves. Let's have a quick look at what that looks like. One, two, three, four, five. Chop them into half. They look like bottoms, don't they? Plus the extra half there. So we can see that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Plus the other one is eleven. Eleven halves. Maths wise, we go five times two. There's our five times two is ten. Plus the extra one. There's the extra one there is eleven. Now they're still not the same size bits. So we're going to make them all into tenths because five and two goes into 10. We'll no, doubtless illustrate why, but five and two, so 10, 10, take away. So we multiply that by five. So we multiply that by five. That's called the denominator because demons come from down below. And this is the numerator. That tells you how many you've got. Multiply the bottom by five. Multiply the top by five. Multiply the bottom by two. Multiply the top by two. So that's 84. Now all of our bits of pizza are cut into the same size. They're all, they're all little tenths. And we're going to see how many. I've got 84 tenths of pizza. And then somebody, the dog probably, came and ate 55 of them. So let's just do um, some maths for this. Um, 84, take away 55. Uh, 7, 14, take away 5 is 9. 7, take away 5 is 2. So that's 29 tenths. But of course, you wouldn't go in and say, I want 29 tenths. So 10, 10 bits will make a whole pizza, won't it? And another 10 bits will make a whole pizza. So that will give us two whole pizzas. And then that will give us nine 
tenths left over. Now don't worry that you don't understand the first time round. Everything is difficult when you're first starting. So it all come, it all come. Let's just check we've got the right answer, shall we? Oh, we did that time. I tend to forget the whole numbers. That's my that's my sort of like, oh dear. Um how many minutes have we got? Right, I'm gonna stop there and then I'll give you another video in a minute. Bye!